So in this class, we're going to be using this programming environment called Dr. Racket. You can download it for free on the web. It works for uh, many different kinds of computers. Um, so if you go to download on this web page, you'll be able to download it. Um, and so let's get started. When you start Dr. Racket, remember that what we're using is called Dr. Racket. Don't start Racket, start Dr. Dr. Racket, it will eventually give you a screen divided into two halves. And we're going to be using both halves in this class. Now, the first thing to do when you uh, start Dr. Racket is to go to the lower left corner and you'll see this sort of um, um, selection. It should say beginning student. Uh, for a lot of you, it's not going to say beginning student. So if it does not say beginning student, click on it and you'll get this list of languages and I want you to choose beginning student and click there so that it does say beginning student okay um, and the reason we need to choose beginning student is because the Dr. Racket language includes a variety of very different programming languages and we're going to be using beginning student so if you don't choose beginning student you'll be programming some other language that we're not teaching Okay, and uh, another thing to know uh, is that often after you change something, like I just changed the language, you need to click the run button in the upper right corner. So this run button in the upper right corner, uh, click that, and uh, um, it's just going to refresh everything and uh, make uh, your changes take. 